class as their class. So the culture of 2000 years back in Ganga Maidan of the ruling class, that culture is Hindutva. So Hindutva is a thing which doesn't change with the time, which doesn't diversify with the uh, communities, which doesn't come in contradiction in class contradiction. So they have selected Manu Dharma as Hindutva. That Manu Dharma is some 2000 years back in Ganga Maida and ruling class culture. So ruling class culture of Ganga Maida 2000 years back is Hindutva. It doesn't change. They stand there. They do not go beyond that or they do not come to the reformation movement. In the reformation movement culture is different. They do not come. That is not their Hindu culture. Even Vedic culture also they, are, they, they do not approve. They approve only 2000 years back Madhudharma Shastra of Ganga Maida of the ruling class. That is their Hindutva. So Hindutva is Madhudharma Shastra and we are telling that there is a great history for Indian civilization before Madhudharma Shastra and after Madhudharma Shastra. For us, the whole history is uh, Hindutva and all diversity is Indian civilization. Education cannot keep away from the politics. I believe I will be allowed to make one statement on that. <laughs> and our India Forum for Right to Education is also fighting against fascism and has understood the severity of uh, fascism, how it is growing. So we also want guidance from political parties and we will be very much interested to read all your documents. And I have read all the documents that are being sent to me and I will continue to do that. But one thing, I draw the attention of CPM and Red Star leadership and delegates. Uh, when they analyze fascism, I have got a question. I hope they will take, entertain with that question also. The question is whether this present ascendancy of fascism is it a product of class struggle such that working class is uh, building such a strong movement and it is preparing for revolution and now that revolution has to be uh, uh, means, uh, defeated. So to defeat a revolution, ruling class brings fascism. Minimum, for me, I do not believe there is a, such a strong working class movement for socialism and for the state power where the ruling class, it is imposed upon the ruling class to bring fascism to suppress the working class revolution. So I do not understand, minimum, that it is a class project, it is a class need of the ruling class. A ruling class can need help. Our this is my suggestion. It seems it is the project of the ruling party. It is the BJP RSS project. 2014 to 4-14, there are a lot of anti-people attacks, but we did not see a sentence of fascism to, from 2004 to 14. Immediately after as the BJP RSS came into power, they are bringing this fascism. It is BJP party, RSS party ka project. Is it class project or party project? This is the question I uh, throw before you. And I say, if it is the if it is the class project, there is no meaning of isolating BJP. Uh, uh, if uh, tomorrow Congress will come, Congress will also do the same thing. If it is the party project, then we should isolate the BJP and the different so it's very critical for us to understand, to analyze, to throw light upon, to understand whether this fascist ascendancy is the project of the ruling class or is it the project of the ruling party. Because ruling party has got some relative independence. Thank you.